In this video, we are going to focus on the gradient of a line segment. You will find this on page 306 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. The gradient or slope of a line segment. We learned that the gradient of a straight line is a measure of its steepness. Suppose A, X1, Y1 and B, X2, Y2 are two points on the line in the diagram. Then we have the following formula. Okay, so there's the two points. So to find the gradient, it's going to be the difference in Y divided by the difference in X. So the difference in Y is going to be Y2 minus Y1 and the difference in X is going to be x2 minus x1. Okay, just take note. You can, if you, you can either put the twos in front or you can put the ones in front, but you cannot swap it. You cannot put the two in front and the one here also in front. So it's either the twos or the ones, otherwise it's incorrect. Let's look at an example. Find the gradient of the line joining the points A, B, C, D, plot the points on a coordinate plane. What can you say about these two lines, segments, and their gradients? Okay, let's just start. Let's just see. So first we're going to find the gradients. So if this is A and this is B, so this is Y2 minus Y1, X2 minus X1. So I just, it's always good to first number your points. Then it's very easy with the substitution and you don't make mistakes. So it's three quarters. And then CD, do exactly the same, again three quarters. Now we're going to plot the points A, B, C, D. So the two line so what can you tell about this two line segments? So the two line segments are parallel and the gradients are equal. So this is very important. If straight lines are parallel, their gradients are equal. And we indicate it by saying M1 equals M2. Okay, you can stop the video and do trinal 7. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Just going to put a grid on. Okay, let's start. <clears throat> Find the gradient of the line joining the points A, B, and C, D. Okay, so let's start with number A, the first one. Okay, let's first write down the points. X1, Y1 x2, y2. So basically I'm just going to do it like this. So if I'm going to find the gradient, remember the formula m is for gradient, so it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 will be 1 minus 0 and negative 2 minus 0 and that's going to be 1 over negative 2, so it's just going to be negative a half. If I look at the next one, uh, the point will be C and the point, and that will be negative 4 and 0, and the point will be D, negative 2 and negative 1. So this is going to be x1, y1, x2, y2. So basically I'm going to do it just like this. I'm just going to say, okay, so let's start M. So it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if I substitute it's just going to be negative 1 minus 0, negative 2 minus negative 4. And that is going to be negative 1, and this is negative 2 plus 4, which is over 2, 
and this is going to give me also negative a half. And then I'm just going to go on. I'm just going to say, what are they saying? Plot the points. Now I hope our space is going to be in order, but let's see if we can plot it here. B. I just have to see that points. Okay. So this is number B. Um, I just want to see 0, negative 2, that's not so much. So if I just do this, um, just my axis, negative 4, okay, and if I plot it, um, then this is going to be, so the 0 and 0, this is A, and B is negative 2 and 1, this is B, and if I draw the line, oh, I want to take a ruler, and then the next one, C, it's negative 4, so it's going to be here, and 0, and negative 2, and negative 1. So this is going to be C, and this is going to be D. And if you check, if you see, can you just notice that this is negative a half, and this is negative a half. Let's just redo that. So can you see the gradients are equal? Therefore, the lines will be parallel. And I can end by saying M1 equals M2. What can you say? So um, let's just write it here, number C. Uh, gradients are equal. Or equal. Therefore, the lines are parallel. Oh. And that is how you do that.